Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Fishing with Norby. It's just getting light out here. Today's day three. It is cut day. It is top 25 day here on Lake Chickamauga, Tennessee. We made it again. We made it again. This is the third year in a row the Lord's blessed us with the top 25. Super excited. We're sitting in second place. Two years ago, we were sitting in first going into the final day. We finished seventh. Last year, we were sitting in 19th. And we brought a 20 bag in, finished fourth. This year we're sitting in second. We're trying to bring home the win. Some dude went and caught 29 pounds yesterday, and he had 15 pounds on day one. So we are just under 10 pounds behind the lead. And then we're three pounds ahead of third place. So we gotta maintain and move up today. We are going for a big bag, as big as we can get. We're gonna be fishing same style, same stuff we've been doing, some brush. Maybe some betters. I saw a four pounder on bed yesterday. At the end of the day, I fished for it for 40 minutes, but it didn't bite. So that fish, God might have just been saying, wait, we might catch it today. I'm excited. Going out fishing with Jonathan today. Fishing with Norby. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, man. Doing How good you? this morning? Yes, sir, I'm doing good. And you are in second day one and day two this yes, tournament. Awesome. It's gonna be a good day. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a- It's gonna be a wet day, but it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> it's gonna be wet and good. We got our frog togs on. Remember, if you need any frog togs, code AN20 on their website. But huge shout out to all my sponsors. Just support me, getting me here. Fishing day number three. Just a blessing to be here, guys. Huge shout out. Camus has been riding great. Baitworks, please shop at Baitworks if you need anything instead of Tackle Warehouse or anywhere else. They're, they have an amazing online store, mega selection. Shout out to Mock Nation. All we've used this week are Mock Combos. That Mock 273 Medium Heavy is my favorite. It's getting it done, getting it done. Thump Gel, that's what's making them bite. We caught that 7-6 day one. If you didn't see practice or the last two tournament days, stop right now and go watch those. But we're about to say the prayer, the national anthem. I'm excited. We're gonna go out there, throw our Strike King baits, hopefully catch some fish. Super pumped, super pumped. So thank you guys for following along. Subscribe, let's go whack them. Yeah. He hit it and I had it halfway in there, it flopped back in the lake. I'm like, <gasps> how big? That nine? Back down, that nine, 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 nine. Oh my gosh. And you had two sevens? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What was your His big buddy, one? Uh, Laker came uh, by. I just probably had one four and a half. Took all the hooks out of my net. Oh wow. That's amazing. Yeah. What a day, man. What a day. Yeah. Uh, hey, they're out there. They're out there. We're going for them. Happen to anybody. Yeah, man. Wow. 
map. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day, I man. Mean, I've had three days. I had a 26 pound day one day in practice. And wow. They're in here. Dude, that's awesome. They are in here. We'll see what happens. Just burn it a little faster. Nobody throws it this time of year. Yeah. No. I know it. I don't. I didn't want to, but they're eating. Yeah. You can't argue if they're eating it. So there's a couple. I'm not even on brush yet, but there's a couple fish just sitting there. I missed them. There he is. I don't know. He, I don't know if he's gonna keep. I don't think he will. I'll flip him. Thank sure. you. Yeah, he got really small. Spot? No. Nope. I wish. We wouldn't need him today, though. We won't need him. 14 inches. All right. That's a good start. There he is, little guy, little guy. Thank you, though. Baby. Shaking head. Shaky head. They will eat it today. Little guy. Sure. Yeah. He might keep. I think he's gonna keep. Looks long. Looks long. Thank you, Lord. All right. He is 15 and a half. Number one. Maybe we can call him out later today. Oh, we gotta clear a whole scale. Oops. Bubba scale is super easy to do. All right. Here we go. 170, 169. Do you know uh, how to extend this net? Yes, okay, awesome. I love this net. Yep. I broke my insert off mine. Oh, man. All right. Hey, got the skunk out. Got the skunk out. Little guy. First cast with thump gel. Gosh. I love that stuff, dude. You can put some on if you want. You're going to make me pick up a shake You know it, right? <laughs> I'm trying to stop. I don't blame you. You're looking at him, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Got one little guy. Thank you. He's behind a tree. Felt good for a second. Lost 
<laughs> you what? All those brush piles and one fish. All right, fish. I can't one just eat it like normal. Drops into a pile. Clunk. <laughs> you're pretty impressive with your uh, electronics, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Thank you, man. He's following it down. There he is. Got it. Little guy. <laughs> well, appreciate it. Sometimes it doesn't help you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna run over there. They were there. I think there was more fish there today than the last two days in all my stuff. I already fished through it all and they're not biting so I went fast. Yeah, I caught five or six dinks. Broke out a jerk bait over them and everything and they'd follow it but that was it. What? All right, we're gonna make a move, switch it up. I'm going to, uh, I'll be right around the corner. I don't know if I've fished, I've caught maybe a two out of this on the tournament, but practice, it's always been good to me. On that brush pile? That's hilarious. I really got to pee. Baby. They might even got one. What? I didn't even know you had one. <laughs> I didn't say anything. All I hear is rain. If I if it gets big, I'll yell net. <laughs> Let's roll. One just shot out for it while I was reeling it in. <laughs> Baby. That's the one that shot out for it. Huh? That's about how big he was. I thought he was a little bigger. Glad he wasn't bigger. Somehow my drag got turned all the way down. That was the weirdest thing. Like all the way down. That's crazy. One baby bass on 50 laydowns. They normally hold fish. 
Are we traveling or are we... Yeah, we're going about five, ten minutes or something. Yeah, this is a smally spot. Smally and spotted bass. It almost was great. Wow. They gotta be 18 though. Yeah. Oh shoot, there's my spot. He stole my whole worm. Stole my whole worm. It's not even right. Got one. I'm going to flip him. He's not going to be 12 inches, is he? Eleven and a quarter. <laughs> oh man. Spotted bass won't even measure. Come on now. They only gotta be twelve inches. Idle time. So I'm gonna grab my goggles on this one. Got it. Yeah. Right here. Thank you. Please be 15. I don't even think he's going to be 15. My goodness. <laughs> I thought it was a good one. I thought it was better. It was sure fighting good. 14 and a quarter. Thank you for the net. My goodness, it ate like it should have though. It's a good sign. Huh. hard cut to the outro guys so what happened at the end it started pouring on the boat ride back i mean pouring and everybody was soaked it poured the whole way in i had my camera gear up i didn't even get my camera gear out to film and i probably would have if i had caught some more fish but i only had one to weigh in so sad right there at the end i caught a giant catfish i thought i had a good bass on uh, we started to figure a little something out fishing some stumps there at the end but it was just disappointing a, a very disappointing day compared to my last two i was sitting in second going into the day and to only weigh in one fish on cut day is not how it's supposed to work that's the worst i've ever done on lake chickamauga probably my favorite lake comes close to Gunnersville. One of those is my favorite. But Chicks always treated me so well. It did again this year. But I was really hoping to win it. We were sitting in second. Just didn't happen. It doesn't happen. That's fishing, guys. We can't always catch them. And usually we don't always whack them and just catch the fire out of them. But we did this event, except for today. We did not today. I fished for that one on bed for like 40 minutes, that four pounder, and it never would commit. But with that, you gotta take the tough days with the good days. We all have more tough days than really good days when I'm talking catching the big fish. It's just how it works. Everybody can't catch them all the time, but some of us gotta struggle so other guys can do better. But you just gotta roll with it. I wanna encourage you with a verse 
1 Timothy 4.10, it says, That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. So, it's talking about Jesus. We labor and strive for the Lord, guys. Today, we were striving, we were laboring. We were given everything we had to try and put five in the boat. And because I didn't get five in the boat doesn't make my efforts any less valuable to the Lord than if I would have put five in there. He loves me the same as he did yesterday as he does today. No matter what I do, he loves me the same. He loves you the same, uh, no matter where your relationship's at with the Lord. But he wants you to draw near to him. He wants you to come near to Him. And when you do, you get filled up with joy. He fills you up just asking. Asking for more joy, more patience, more peace, more love to fill you up. And He will. And it'll make tough days like this not, not as bad as they used to be. That's for sure. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. The whole Chick series. That was a fun series. And I'm really enjoying putting these videos out. We got... Uh, the Ozarks coming up next, so get, stay tuned for that. This videos will be dropping. We might have some panfish videos coming, crappie fishing videos. Let me know what you want to see, and let me know what you thought of the Chickamauga series. It was a blast, a blessed week, living that camper life. And now, I'm at another tournament, so you're just going to have to stay tuned to see where this mansion is we're staying at in some upcoming videos. But shooting this outro a little late after the fact just because that day was a wet one. I'm going to get out of here. Catch you on the next episode of Fishing with Norby. God bless.